This video will show you how to use Navigator, the new system for requesting an interlibrary loan, otherwise known as ILL. As you can see, Navigator comes along with other important changes. Make sure to read the information you see in this window carefully. Note that you must agree to these terms before making any ILL request. When you're ready, click I agree. Now you are ready to use Navigator. First, understand how it works. Users must search for and select items directly from the database. If you can't find an item on Navigator, you cannot make an ILL request for it. It's that simple. Knowing this, I'm going to make an advanced search by clicking here. Advanced search allows you to search for items using a number of different fields like title and author. Additionally, Advanced Search allows you to limit your searches to a select group of libraries. I strongly recommend that you select Libraries Worldwide from this drop-down menu. This group includes all types of libraries from all over the world. It casts the widest possible net, which makes it likelier that you will find the item you desire. In this example, I'll be looking for Creating Magic, a book about leadership strategies developed by the Disney Institute. Here is the results page. As you can see on the left, one can narrow down a search further by format, author, year, language, etc. In this case, however, the item I want already appears on the list, so there's no need to narrow my search further. It's the second one on the list. Notice that Navigator tells me that libraries in the Texas Group Catalog own this particular item. That's important because libraries in the Texas group are more likely to fulfill an ILL request than those not belonging to the group. Navigator already knows this and purposefully ranks libraries in the Texas group higher to encourage their use. Keep that in mind when searching. If you see the item listed more than once on your results list, see if any belong to libraries in the Texas group catalog, and if so, select that one by clicking on the title link, like this. At this point, scroll down to see which library systems own that particular item. If your home library system appears on this list, stop what you're doing. Usually, you cannot perform an ILL request for such an item because it means you can acquire or access it through your home library's normal channels. However, sometimes a library still has a record for an item when in fact it no longer possesses it. Usually, this is because at some point the item was lost. In those special cases, you can proceed with the ILL request and make a note explaining the situation. I'll show you how to do that later. In this case, we will assume that you cannot access or acquire this item through your home library's normal channels. Therefore, to initiate an ILL request, I will click here. Note well, do not, do not click directly on any of the library system links below. Doing so will prevent you from making an ILL request properly. Again, you'll want to click here, Request Item. When you get here, you'll need to identify your home library system. Simply type in the name of your library system, which should appear in the list below. Then select it and click on Continue. When prompted, enter your library card number and your last name. Then click Login. On this page, you need to specify your pickup location from the drop down menu, which is here. In the case of San Antonio Public Library, if you do not make a selection, Navigator would automatically send ILL requests to Central Library by default. So choose your branch. Also, remember to enter your email address here. If you don't have an email address, enter not applicable like this. Just understand that without an email address entered here, Navigator has no way to tell you if your request cannot be filled. So if at all possible, Enter an email address here. If you need to leave any special comments, 
do so here. This is where you would explain situations like the one I mentioned earlier. Situations where your home library has a record for an item, but does not actually possess a copy that you can access or acquire. If appropriate, leave comments there. Otherwise, leave it blank. When you're done, click on Submit Request. Congratulations! You have successfully submitted an ILL request. Now all you have to do is wait for your item to arrive. When your item is available for pickup, your home library system will notify you using whatever contact information they have for you in their system. Happy searching!